Okay, guys, I'm going to tie, first First of all, I'm going to tie a um, pillow talk, which is a classic Alphonse um, Crazy Charlie. It's a um, pattern that evolved over the years. Uh, in this fishery, it started out as a little mini chartreuse and white clouser, and um, many years ago, Dick Brown asked me to tie, tie a few flies up for his new book. So it's been published for a long time. It's a really good fly. Um, it's my favorite go-to bonefish fly, but I've caught just about every conceivable fish on the atoll, including milkfish and permit with it, and GTs. Basically what we do is we just taper the body. So we're just using white thread just to get a taper on the body. Um, must have a bit of a taper on it, otherwise it's not really a pillow talk. Uh, it's a very, very simple fly, very easy to tie, very quick, um, very effective. And what I've done is I'm just going to show you quickly the the body, how to tie the body, which is basically just this wrapping of the thread, and we use a bit of um, pearlescent crystal flash just to give an overwrap. And then we just we varnish it up, and it takes a while for the varnish to dry. So what I'm going to do is I've pre-prepared some body, so it'll take us it won't take us long to for everything to dry. It'll be really quick. So it's two strands of crystal flesh, pearlescent crystal flesh, tied in. Okay, then I use a bit of a uh, good old super glue, just to make the fly durable. You want the fly to be durable. It's on a really good. It's on a really good hook. Came as a little gamagatsu hook which is a SL12 3H size 8. That's the standard hook for this fly. Um, you can tie it with a 6, but the 8 is a much better size. Um, it's quite a buggy fly. It's very, um, it, very re it represents a lot of stuff on the flats. It's quite suggestive. Uh, it represents a, c a couple of interesting little things. There's a little white goby, a little white... Um, goby on the sand um, which darts away from the fish and um, bones chase after it and eat it and it's uh, one of the, one of the things that this little flower represents is a little goby and the other thing it obviously there's a whole lot of different little shrimps on the flats little clear sand shrimps and sand prawns um, and basically this this flower represents those Okay, so what we do is give it a soft loop on the nose and we just varnish it. Okay, put a bit of good old standard nail varnish on it and we got the body. Okay, I usually give it, I let it dry and then I give it one or two coats and then it's done. Um, so that's the little body. Uh, we're going to stick this just gently into the desk here. Nobody's going to complain about that, hopefully. All right, so there's a there's a really, really good body. Um, Pre-prepared. It's had about six or seven coats of Sally Hansen, so it's, in, it's really looking very sexy. And we'll put that in the vise. And we'll just pick it up on the front here. Okay, so we're good. All right, so what I've done is I've got a couple of strands of um, pearlescent crystal flesh so literally two strands it's very important not to over tie this fly um, just two strands of that and I basically what I do is I tie it fairly long and then I just tie it in once and just bend it around so pre-prepared uh, calf tail white calf tail so it's a white calf tail wing so let's say 20 20 bits, 20 hairs. Uh, obviously, I've cleaned it, so I've taken out the the finer stuff. Yeah, it's nice to be as neat as possible. Okay, we're good. So we just tie those guys in. All right, so we, then we just tie this little, let's tie a slightly longer one. I like to tie these little strands of crystal flesh in, and they represent feelers. 
and they give a little bit of obviously live shimmer to the fly as well tie them just slightly longer than the wing we'll just trim them off so it's very simple fly okay and then we just tie a little bit of chartreuse over that so another say 20 strands chartreuse over that tweak out the funny pieces okay that's looking pretty good that out there and just neaten it up a bit got to get in tight okay sweet now now the last second last part of the process it's pretty critical to this fly is the is a little bit of UV. I usually use UV flash, but I seem to have forgotten to bring that tonight. So I'm just going to use my UV blue crystal flash. So it's just two strands of UV, just to give it that little. What's that? The fish must see that little bit of flash on the flats and say, well, you know, what is that? And come and have a look. Okay, we're getting pretty good. All right, then the last part of this process to make the fly really special. The sort of signature, one of my, my signature th things is a, a little red nose. I do it for a lot of my flies. Um, it's just a strike stimulator. And, and this pattern, it's quite critical. If it doesn't have the red nose, it doesn't fish nearly as well. So you just put a little super glue on that just to keep the crystal flash in place. Let's wrap it, wrap it, over wrap it. Let's make sure that it's good. Okay. Well, that's the basic deal. That's uh, it's a pretty simple little fly, but it's incredibly effective. And if you come to Alphonse, you need to have 50 of these in a box because you go through them like um, like there's no tomorrow. Well, there's the little red nosed reindeer right there. Okay, so I can just spin him for you. So there they are. 